Augmentative alternative communication is an area in speech language pathology that um, helps individuals who don't have natural speech to communicate for a variety of reasons. It's really a tool for people for whatever reason um, they are unable to use their natural or speaking voice. Uh, so we have a variety of devices that vary from low tech, so maybe like I push a button Baby. and it says a, uh, it says a word, to more high tech, something that looks similar to an iPad. And what is really great about these devices, whenever you're working with little ones who haven't yet spoken, it is a way to enhance and support their language development. This semester, I was given the opportunity to work with a 21-year-old man with autism. Um, and my co-clinician and I used AAC throughout the semester um, just to help him communicate and interact with us and interact more with his mom and his sister. Um, he does have verbal language, but it's not what one would consider functional. And so his mom you know, was concerned with not being able to understand his ideas or understand um, when he gets frustrated. And when I say this guy is smart, like smart is underestimating him. He has so much in his brain that he just isn't able to communicate using his you know verbal speech so at the beginning of the semester his mom wasn't very open to the idea of AAC just because she was unfamiliar with it and she you know has this son with autism and she thought this will be one more barrier one more thing to make him different but as the semester progressed and she saw he was actually communicating more with the use of the AAC she came to us um, probably a few weeks ago and said okay, I want you guys to help me get a device for him because I think it will be beneficial and I'll be able to communicate with him more. I think the biggest thing that I have learned, especially at my graduate program here at the University of Tulsa, um, with speech and language pathology in general, is that this is a field where we help so many people and we need so many people to make other human connections. So even though it's hard and difficult, you get to really be a part of someone's life and you get to impact them in ways that are unimaginable. Um, from being able to request things or say no, to enjoying a meal with their family, and even just having shared social connection. Speech-language pathology, it is all about uh, communicating with one another. And I think as uh, human beings, that is something that is at the, the cornerstone or the bedrock of what makes us human, this need to uh, feel connection with one another and there are some people who uh, for whatever reason have obstacles or barriers to being able to communicate and connect with others and speech language pathologists we we help with that we help people engage with the world around them I'm especially interested in AAC because the whole thought process and this is true in all areas of speech pathology is you're looking at what the person can do and that is especially the case in AAC because you're looking at everything they have the capability to do and you're focusing on that to get them to a place where they can function in areas that are not so easy for them. I think that the university offers um, a lot of clinical opportunities. We, um, we have opportunities that are outside the clinic here like the Little Lighthouse or the um, center for um, individuals with physical challenges. We also have a huge variety of patients that come here, all the way from two-year-olds to um, people who are 70, 80, 90 years old. And so in our clinic, I feel like we offer a huge variety. And most of our students graduate with over the maximum number of hours so that they've had for graduate clinical work. So they've had a lot of experience before they even go out.